Okay, so I thought I'd go to the um, library because I saw a YouTube video the other week. Someone was looking at the trying to find books on clouds and stuff to see what sort of information they're uh, propagating the lies basically. And uh, the assistant in the library said, Oh, do you want the books out of the kids' section? I was like, Yeah, okay, go on then. So these are the first two books, these are out of the kids' library section. You've got this one, this is the first one. Explorer's Weather. And lo and behold, there you go. I don't think that needs much explaining. They're telling you this is all normal. Contrails, you've got the wave cloud in the background there, which is uh, induced by harp. And what was it? Number three, what did I say number three is? Number three is just a mid-level stratocumulus cloud. There you go, so that's in the kids' book. Nice bright picture. Showing you the sky is normal. This is just normal weather. Cloud spotting. That's what they're teaching the kids. We got the next one. The weather, another kids' book. We got the kids on the front there. So it's just a kids' book, harmless, bit of fun. Uh, we've got in here. Yeah, stratus cloud. Again, this isn't normal. Cirrus clouds. You do get cirrus clouds, but the stuff that we see today is. Uh, as a result of the aerosols that they're spraying in the skies. Um, but this one here, I've, I've filmed this so many times, and this is uh, after heavy chem trading, this is what they do to the sky. So that's in another kid's book. What my friend brought over to me today, it says Introduction to Clouds. It's from NASA. On the other side it says Sky Watcher chart from NASA. I shit my pants. Three quarters of the clouds on here are chem clouds. This one down here is a cirrus cloud with all these little spider legs coming out. That's textbook chem cloud. Right down here we have a chembo and they have it down as a cirrostratus. Down here we have the textbook ripple effect going on in this picture. And they're actually giving that a name, calling it a cirrocumulus. Oh my goodness, this is shocking. The only real clouds we have are these ones right here, the, cu the Cumulus L1 and the Cumulus L2, and then we have a Cumulonibus. That's all real. But all these other shady clouds, oh my god, right here, that's the uh, cottage cheese one I talk about. It's a real severe newer chem cloud fabrication. They give it a name, Alta Cumulus. This is brand new now. This is 2010. This is another thing that just really hit me hard. They're calling this, check that out folks, a contrail up there in the top. A contrail, you should see that thing. It's like just two huge chem clouds in the sky. And on the other side, it's like a chem trail that's cut in half. Contrails dissipate within three minutes or so. Chem clouds, chemtrails, they don't disappear for about two to three hours. And they're much denser, much thicker. I cannot believe the programming. Check it out. We've got a little jet up here with some, you know, chem clouds coming out of the back. Look at what they are calling a contrail. Oh, my God. Look at this, guys. This is insane. NASA is a branch of the government. Together they work hand in hand to pull off some of the biggest hoaxes like the moon landing, all of these clouds that they're putting in. This is what it is, folks. This is it, a sky watcher chart. People need to wake up. If they can, if People are so afraid to know the truth. They couldn't even fathom what's going on on the planet. And they're just... It, it, it's crazy, you know, because they have this whole thing where these chem clouds are not, tr they're trying to say they're, you know, so, uh, you know uh, a solar shield. But let me tell you, during the night, infrared radi radiation is blocked in the atmosphere. 
by the artificial clouds, so the whole, you know, geoengineering option uh, in order to keep global warming uh, down and to reflect the sunlight is a total lie and a hoax. I will link below to the website where I got those two videos, the NASA video and the Chemtrails and Kids Library books. And there's another video, Atlas with Chemtrails and News is used in school teaching. I think this is out of Germany, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, I am very, very upset. I <laughs> went to Chemtrails Planet, and it's no longer available. This site has been archived or suspended for a violation of our terms of service. I recommended Chemtrail Planet several times. Great site for research. A site that was started and maintained by a long time subscriber, Jay Breezes. It was so incredible. This one website had so much information on it and it's gone it's gone and when I saw this my heart broke I couldn't believe all that work Jay Breeze if you see this video I am so sorry I mean, this was, you want to talk about someone providing a service, got no money for it, providing a service to the human race, humanity, and it's gone. The digital world is literally deleting truth. Truth is absolutely being snuffed out. And, well, I think a lot of you may feel or relate to what I am about to say. We already are living in a world where everything is meaningless. You have no truth, nothing at all means anything. It renders life meaningless. And you know what? I need life to mean something. God, Jay Breezes, man, I am so sorry. We need to start really <laughs> downloading information because they're getting rid of it. But I was looking, I was looking in all of my bookmarks and I've got a lot of them and I have a lot of um, subjects and within those subjects I have bookmarked a tremendous amount of information over the years. And today, that's how I found this wonderful surprise. But in clicking on a lot of the bookmarks, wow, no longer available. 404 era to a lot of the documents that I had bookmarked. They're gone. I'm just going to share this one site, Clifford Conicorm. Um, his Conicorm, 
Conicom Institute. I'm sorry for not. Look, I am not okay. And I'm not saying that, you know, for your sympathy or empathy. I'm saying it because all of the assaults are absolutely taking a toll, not just on me, but taking a toll on so many based on the comments that I have been reading. And these assaults are, they are absolutely pummeling us now with the extremely low frequencies, the microwaves, which I'm going to show you again today. But this past week or two weeks, man, every single day, I feel like hell. Yeah, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. And no matter what I do, I can't seem to feel any better. I've read so many comments from you guys where, you know, one comment was uh, about everything that this woman has been trying to do. Exercises, she's fit, she eats well, she eats organic, she detoxes, she does this, she does that. And she feels like hell. It's gotten to the point where it is very difficult now to feel okay. Just okay. The life that we used to live is gone. And it has been replaced by something so evil that, well, it's really hard to wrap your head around it. But for those of us who can't not, because we do live in reality, there's something about reality, hmm, that we just can't escape. And the truth means something to us. So we know. We can't just ignore the evil. And it's ramping up now. Research library listing. This goes back to 1999. January 1, 1999. And this is um, just this one page on his site. Contains an awful lot of information particularly about the aerosol spraying scientist who has you know, he's a scientist who has studied examined there's a lot of proof here that we are being hit with nanofibers the fibers related to Morgellons Um, and a lot of scientific analysis of the chemicals that they are using, the heavy metals, biological operations confirmed. Um, and he has done a lot of work on more gallons. So, Either we download the truth now, or we let it slip away. But as you could see in those videos, the indoctrination is worldwide. It's worldwide. And kids now, they think the sky that they're looking at is normal. It's normal. It's not normal. All right. So this was my sky today. You can see the microwaves, the evenly spaced cloud lines in the sky. We are saturated 
in dangerous microwave radiation, electromagnetic radiation, artificially produced by man. And this is, you know, for those who say, well, <laughs> electromagnetic radiation is natural, Carol. Not, not this, not this kind of radiation. Man is now, or has been for many, many, many years, has been artificially producing these frequencies at different intensities, at different times of the day, pulsating, intermittent, irregular pulses that you that affect every cell in your body and we can't adjust to these pulses this is what they're claiming is a normal sky that's a normal contrail that's what NASA and NOAA are teaching children completely normal and it's so not normal I got a comment from someone who said why aren't the older people screaming? They know what the sky used to look like. I've been screaming for six years, seven years. Some others have been screaming too. But we have an awful lot of very sick people. Not not physically. We have a sick population. It has been sick for a very long time. It values money and that's it. It talks a big game about oh yeah I'm, I'm, I'm this, I'm that, I'm wonderful. But we haven't been. we haven't been. I have to tell you, you know, I, I don't know what is going on with me. I'm going to continue to do my best, but uh, confusion, unable to think clearly, unable to do what I used to do in terms of just putting together information and then doing a video. I, I'm something is not right I'm breathing in toxic heavy metals chemicals and and I live in a dangerous environment saturated with these frequencies we all do there's no escape from this and it's not going to stop this is going to get worse and worse anybody looking at this sky should know that this is not a normal sky. Unfortunately, the older people, most of them don't care. They only care about their own life. And yeah, I'm gonna say it, they don't even care about their own children or their grandchildren. Uninterested We have children who walk around in adult bodies who really just want mommy and daddy to fix everything. And who's mommy and daddy? Authority figures. You know, the well-adjusted, <laughs> well, Krishnamurti, what did he say? Um, to be well adjusted to a deeply disturbed society is no measure of health. I got that wrong. And we've been a deeply disturbed society 
from the start only getting more and more disturbed because if you don't resolve you know the sickness that you have in your society it only gets worse and worse and as you can see it's gotten an awful lot worse but we too are getting worse when I read all of the comments I can't it's like okay I know how I feel I asked neighbors how they were feeling one said they oh wow I I thought I was maybe coming down with a virus or um, a bug I haven't been feeling well today another neighbor never feels well I never feel well people are sick people don't look well you look at them when you go out they don't look well so when you see let's say just on my channel how many people are really suffering now you can expand that out into the greater population we have now become an incredibly physically sick population there are the pulses the camera losing focus um, and it's keeping all of us down I am incapable of doing what I used to do and I don't like being controlled by other people and we are so magnificently controlled now yeah normal sky this is life now <laughs>